And Chris Flanagan, Danita Harris has the night off. Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson took his historic education transformation plan to council tonight. The mayor is sitting down with members in an effort to bring them up to speed on the changes in state law he is looking to have introduced. News Channel 5's John Kostick was there, and John, the mayor was certainly fired up. Yeah, Chris, words even the mayor himself would joke aren't often associated with him, but he could not have made it any more clear tonight how much fixing education in this city means to him. I'll give up this job for an opportunity to educate our children. Saying it's not about politics or doing what's popular with the teachers union, Mayor Frank Jackson tonight told city council members his education transformation plan is about making changes that are needed to fix the city schools. In order for us to get to one ineffective tenured teacher, you have to lay off every non-tenured teacher, whether they're performing or not. That's hundreds. Hundreds of teachers. So just to get to one ineffective. Now the teachers use, well, we have the PAR program and you know we're working through it. Give me a break. The mayor's plan would make sure there are other criteria used and that seniority is not the sole determiner. He says he asked the union to help him come up with those guidelines. You know what they told us? Everything is okay. Council will eventually vote on a resolution of support for the plan, which will be introduced in Columbus in the next week or two. The mayor says the district is looking at a $65 million hole in the fall and a levy is needed to close it. These reforms are what's needed, he says, to convince voters they mean business when it comes to overhauling education in Cleveland. It's nothing political to me. This is about whether or not we can pass a levy in November and, 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 and be perfectly honest with you. I don't know any of you would support a levy in November with the same old stuff. You're not going to do it, and neither with the citizens of the city of Cleveland. Well, the mayor will go to Columbus in a few days to meet with state legislators about getting these reforms introduced. While many provisions of this package were in Senate Bill 5, Jackson, who strongly opposed SB 5, says this plan does nothing to impact the union's right to collectively bargain. Live in the newsroom, John Kosick, News Channel 5.